my friend. Oh, and we want to run. Hey, we want money. I'm like, what's going on here? You said you were renting this place out. So, why are you here? Morning! And I'm moving! Again. Welcome to a moving vlog for the second time this time. So I finally found uh, another peaceful place for me. So I'm moving today. My name is Kat Logu, and I'm on a weight loss journey. But today we're focusing on the moving, not the weight loss. I'm just out here raising a flag for people like myself. People who are living the same lifestyle as myself welcome to my channel so yes as much as it's devastating and tiring but yeah i have to move we we have to move there's no way there's no way we can live here there is just too much happening every single day like it defeats the purpose why i wanted to change um my space because now where, where we're living now it's worse than where i was living before it's like worse it's not even close because uh, this place is just weird so now i haven't started packing and i think it's already i'm already late it's around 10 and my friend will be here because my friend has a half day at work so i was supposed to have everything put together as much as nothing was unpacked just because of the same reason that i just wasn't sure anymore if we're gonna stay here or what so everything is still in its boxes and whatnot but few things just need to be packed the one that i decluttered so i'm going to quickly wash my face i will already brush my teeth i'll just wash my face wash the sensitive areas and then yeah i'll have a full bath later so as you can see everything is still this is where i work out Everything is still in the bucket. I just need to fix that because of each time I'm looking for something to, to wear, I'll just dive in there with my hands. So it looks like a mess. So we're just going to pick that up. It's really not that much. So I'm just going to get my hot water in here because the geezer isn't working here. no way that we're gonna live here excuse the echoes so first of all this place it's impossible to live in unless you live the same lifestyle as the people here here you will be busy in your house oh that's even better you wake up in the morning, you go outside, and then when you opening up your window, you will find in your washing hanger, a washing line, already there is clothes. You know that you didn't do the washing. You know that the person you live with didn't do the washing. So why is there a load outside? find out that it belongs to somebody else. Nobody came in knocking to ask, hey, can I please use your, your liner, your hanger, your washing hanger? Nobody did that. Then if somebody said, oh, but I did knock, maybe he didn't hear me, or I thought there was nobody here, Still, does that mean you should use it? 
just because I didn't open the door or I didn't answer or you thought some, nobody was in, that means you have the right to do it. If you want something, I have a chair maybe sitting outside and you want to borrow that chair, you knock, I don't answer, or for whatever reason, I'm not there. You want to take the chair because you want to say, hi, Musa, I, I didn't see you. So that is the mindset of the people here. Second thing, you'll be busy in your house. Somebody will just be leaning against your wall. The wall is even better against the window. Who leans against the window? Because it is glass. It can break any time. We're not even there. You know this is not your house. And you have came to visit somebody on the next door. But you're leaning against my house. So, yeah, that is just too much for me. If it's not that, my friend also has a problem. Each time my friend comes, you will see the bunch, millions of kids. They will be running like zombies, running to the car. Oh, we want five friends. Oh, and we want to run. Hey, we want money. From where I'm from, Kids never do that. What type of kids just get so comfortable with a stranger? Especially a stranger with a car. A small kid will just run towards a stranger's car and starts demanding money. In these times that we live in, I've never seen such a thing. And guess what? Even if the parents, they see that, oh, the kids are um, bothering an adult today, or talking to that adult, I don't even know that adult myself, but they are my kids doing whatever. You're supposed to call them and say, hey, what are you doing there? The parent will act like they don't even see those kids. Secondly, those same kids, instead of playing in their yard, they will play in our yard. Why the parent cleans their yard? It's always sparkling clean. Our yard is always dirty because the kids play here. Not that the parent can see, the parent can see, but they don't care. Secondly, the owner of this house, whenever the owner will feel nice, they want to come. Because one thing I think I didn't mention as well, there is no fence here. We don't have a fence. Literally, the houses are just standing there. They, we don't have a fence, but other houses have fences. But when we're renting, they didn't build the fence yet so that is why it is such a free movement so whenever the landlord decides oh the woman because it's always the woman usually the men they don't give such problems but with my experience that's what i thought until i rented somewhere and then the landlord was a man <laughs> i have so many stories of renting in townships I'm just looking for something that I can wear. I wanted to wear this, but the type behind is too transparent. And this was going to be nice and simple. I hate digging through these all the time. But let's hope it's for the last time. Because I'm no longer in the mood of moving and all of that. I think I'm going to get this. going to wear my self-made top. Yes, self-made. This is okay. Guys, look at how good this looks. It looks like I bought it like this. It looks so pretty. I'm even jealous. I'm definitely going to wear this when i go out to somewhere serious honestly and that is my moving fit for today 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 because it's also cold and chilly so let's go and make something to eat and 30 minutes later i'm back so i quickly 
packed up what needed to be packed so i fixed these and i packed all my electronics in there Ooh. and this is the dirty laundry yes i have a dirty laundry and then this is my big pile sack of my weight loss uh, clothes that are just in here do you see the size of this thing i am so embarrassed each time somebody has to carry this like i am so embarrassed so those are my clothes and then it was already packed like that this so what i have here is a ready to go uh boxes and everything so we're just going to be carrying this out and this was supposed to be my room i didn't even get a chance to use it oh my god but it's okay moving on to a better place so we're just going to be we, i am done this side so the plan is to move the plan is to move the things section by section so we're gonna move this part take it in there side we're gonna on the other on the other place we're gonna put this in my room in the side that is my room and then as well as the sitting area the kitchen the what what so we're going to be doing that by sections but i think the small things before we get the paid transport if my friend makes it in time because my friend is still not here and it's 11 but mm, we can move the 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 the, the, the small and things with my friend's car so we will see but this side is already ready and here there isn't much really left we're just going to be yeah and then i also have to clean the bathroom and carry this and then this side the blankies are already packed i already did that my friend's laundry basket and it's already packed and then yeah it's just the simple things and guys can i tell you the most embarrassing thing oh my god look at this watch this okay this is me right i have all of my shampoos my scrub i'm like okay let me take a nice bath this was after i had an intense workout yeah it was filmed it was that day when i had the intense workout that huge workout so i'm like you know i need a hot shower here i am i'm like pouring in my water fixing everything i'm like oh let's get in then i'm getting in this is me i'm getting in and i'm like oh let me go down let's go down look at this going down my hips don't fit literally i couldn't fit <laughs> guys when i'm telling you that i'm desperate for this weight loss mm -hmm. i can't fit in a bathtub how in the hell is this possible how can i not fit in a, in a bathtub so you're telling me that i can't take a hot bath and i do have a tub oh my i was so embarrassed i was so embarrassed i told my friend and my friend was like my friend didn't take it serious for me it was serious that like, my friend didn't take it serious and my friend can fit in the in the tub probably if i would try to sit down this whole thing would shatter if it doesn't shatter then the water would like fly out look at this guys look look the hips they are passing through the walls of this thing look this was so embarrassing look at me i'm like i need to lose weight so imagine if maybe you had a base something and they take you out you know you you off on a vacation and then you can't fit in the tub this is embarrassing <laughs> This is so hardcore cruelty. Okay guys, so I'm going to quickly, quickly make something to eat. Maybe some sandwiches. 
before my friend gets here because if my friend gets here it's gonna be a mess i'm probably going to be even losing the things that i'm supposed to be using to cook i thought i had more cheese but i'll just be using this oh, oh. Why, why why would i do that oh my gosh on candid camera oh no this thing is a hater because my top is so cute uh, anyway so guys never mind the little drip drip here is gonna dry out so as i was saying guys living here chronicles i was saying that the lawyer the landlord the woman because it's a it's a it's a so it's a couple actually so the wife anytime she feels like oh i want to come here they just come and then the other time i was busy working out and then boom all of a sudden i'm seeing some people are busy outside in the garden i'm like okay what's going on and then all of a sudden it is the wife she is busy she's busy in the garden i don't know if she was planting veggies or what i'm like what's going on here you said you were renting this place out so why are you here and why are you am i finding you outside while i'm inside you didn't come to tell me so now you have this mentality that oh because it's my house i can go anytime i want but you are renting the place to us so what's going on how she's busy they're making noise they're doing this okay i'm like so that it, it shows that this is what's going to happen each time she feels like she's bored <coughs> or she's off from work it's just gonna come here she has that mentality that black mentality of black landlords i'm like yeah this is bad and then so as i was telling you guys about the the, the many kids my friend was so annoyed is always so annoyed like my friend was like i'm sick of these kids like each time my car they see my car just from a corner the kids will be coming in flying and i'm like that is so unusual i'm uh, i was always stunned at everything that was happening because i'm not used to this lifestyle i agree i am from the township but one thing that i learned from this place there are certain levels of wretchedness there are certain levels of wretchedness because when i came here i thought i've seen all the wretchedness but the ones from this place uh -uh. ah you'll never survive here you'll never survive unless you are like them because on their side they used to it we and my friend we we just look like outsiders or outcast because we always surprised of what's going on what's this they're doing it with each other and they're very much happy they don't have a problem i'm like no so my friend was telling me that i'm sick of the kids i said no just tell the kids to, uh, 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 tell them to go away like with a serious with a serious uh face tell them that hey 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 go back to your house go back to your mama what are you doing here talking to a stranger so give my friend those tips that you need to tell the kids to go because if you continue to smile with them they will continue doing that so my friend is very sweet it was very very tough of my friend to even begin to do that but <laughs> one day i had my friend said oh i finally did it i finally did it i told them kids to go away i was like yeah so now they were not they were no longer doing what they were doing when they see my friend's car but it didn't make things easier because that was not our only challenge so i'm making a toasted uh cheese sandwich so now I'll just just be here minding my own business maybe i'm filming or maybe i'm just making some food or doing whatever that i do in the house you'll be just seeing people talking in the door and you'll be waiting for a knock or maybe somebody you know is knocking for even still if they're knocking what do they want you know because i don't know anybody here and i don't want to know anybody here 
So, but I'm still giving it that benefit of the doubt because there were people living here before. Maybe somebody might still think that the same people are still living here. So you'll be waiting for a knock and then nothing comes. It's just people talking their business and then they're going wherever they're going. I was heating this up and I forgot it on the stove and it got burnt. So I'm just going to use this small banana. Point. And just a bit of oil so that the bread doesn't stick. Oh, this is my... So that is it, guys. That is the chronicles of this place. So, news alert now, guys. And then take the cheese. Yeah. Ooh, I think my pan is too hot. So And just let it sit for like a minute and then flip it so i had already started uh packing the plates and the dishes and everything in the bucket so that i work as i go i move as i go i pack as i go oh it's burning no okay so before you flip it You do this on top, flip it. That is how I make my toasted cheese bread. And we need a plate. I have enough dishes, I'm gonna use this. I am so happy that we're living here. I am so happy. The place was good. The place inside the house, it was spot on. But the environment. Ooh, why is it burning so quickly? So I want to quickly finish packing the dishes before I eat. This is how the toasted cheese sandwich came out. 
this is for my friend and i think my friend is here already wow oh, it's better than in the phone it's very nice and big huh? yes guys look at this place this is going to be the sitting area can you see that you cannot see anybody there you can't see anybody we have a fence a brick fence and for the best part the bathroom this is the shower oh my gosh this is the shower they're still gonna put the glass over yeah they were they were renovating this place and i'm loving the renovating this is the room that i picked because i was i wanted a room with the lighting and this is my friends i love this place my famous dance oh my god i am excited so we just came here to quickly clean We just got from back from the other house. I am in love, and there's no way you're gonna blame me, guys. If you've seen, I've shown you how the place looks like. The place looks awesome, and you can tell, guys, by the by the look of things. The people who lived there had class. I mean, the owners because. It's the owners who were living there and now they they bought a new house in the suburbs so it makes sense because i think they have this because that place looks amazing you you can just tell you can you can just tell this place looks great but that place looks amazing and it looks expensive it doesn't look cheap it all like now I, I, since i'm back here i'm definitely seeing the difference i'm starting to pick up the vibe when you get into that place, you feel it has that bougie vibe and look. It just shows that wherever you are, you can make house look clean and classic. And you don't need a lot of money to do that. So I'm definitely picking up tricks and tips from that because my plan, my future, one day I want to invest in property as well. So 
I'm definitely taking that tip because if I was the owner, I would. This is how I would want my tenants to feel like because yeah, I felt it like it's even crazy for me that we are paying the the type of amount we're paying. Literally, the same price we're paying here is the same price we're paying there. So I am in love. I just didn't want to come back already. Like. I've just i've been so hungry we thought we we're gonna buy milk because the time i was making my french cheese toast i wanted us to eat first and then start working but unfortunately we didn't have milk for the coffee so we went out we thought we we're gonna buy the milk we're back we didn't buy the milk poof so i'm about to make so we just shoved everything in here this is my friend this is mine so i'm just going to chow this but i think i should heat them up in the oven and then i'm going to make my tea my coffee i am a so most part of the privacy guys did you see that place it is so private we have a fence not only is it a wired fence but it's a brick cement Things. I am so happy. I couldn't be happier. Like I couldn't be happier. Like we were so lucky to find this place, especially at a reasonable price. Like I just wish I show you guys everything, the neighborhood, the everything. But just because of the safety, and I don't want people who know me to know where I live. So I just wish I could have been able to do that. But yo. Oh. Oh my god the neighborhood is so pretty everybody else has their fence and and the houses are nice it's a, it's a nice neighborhood i'll be able to jog oh my god i can't wait like i'm so excited because the vibe here is not so the only thing that's left that they need to do is to put the gate the gate is still not because the house was not ready we were like we don't care they will finish everything when we get inside because the owners decided to move out and then they decided to re to renovate the place so that's why it was still amazing the cement everywhere and everything but i am just so excited that for me it feels like it's brand new it feels like we are the first people to live there because it has been renovated so i am so excited it is so beautiful the floor <sighs> me and my friend we need We definitely need to buy curtains because we don't have curtains. I gave my curtain away to my cousin, to my nephew, and my friend also gave the curtains away to the cousin. Donated our things, most of our things, to our young ones who are first years in college and university. So we literally need to buy those things because that house is too pretty that, that we have to use the gown gowns to, to 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 close the windows no way there's no way mm. Mm -hmm. i'm so hungry i don't think i can wait this is black coffee oh, i'm so happy guys I love my new place. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. This is what we wanted. You see, when I decided that I want to move out of here in that small Anyana room of mine, and my friend also had the same sentiments. My friend was like, yeah. And then we agreed that we're going to move out. We're going to get a house together. And then everybody must have their rooms. And then we, like, and then we must have our own yard, our own fence this is exactly what we got so i couldn't be happy i don't care that i'm moving so many times and then i'm tired for that place i will move with these things in my head and i will just keep on driving until i get to that place because that place is worth it mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. What's left now? 
I told my friend to buy this because we didn't have this. Imagine this uh, cleaning brush for the toilet, and it was at pip so cheap, right? So I'm going to quickly wash the toilet because we found it sparkling white. So I'm going to scrub it and scrub, just wash everything that is in here, and then after everything else is out, and then I'll start mopping the floors. You know that's how I do. So already my friend got most of the things as you can see in that corner there the only thing that's left is this junk so this junk will use a van to take it out and then my electronics and then yeah i got a bit like attached to the room because i used to work out in here and each time i work out i would look at this you know even though sometimes you would just be like and then you just find random people standing there you know but yeah but I couldn't be happy because I'm not really like sad that I'm leaving just because I didn't get a chance to get attached to the place and also because of what's happening. But this room, I, I definitely feel something, something like something that is like, oh, I'm leaving because I used to do my workouts in here. So, but I'm ready to leave after seeing that place. I'm ready to vamos in vain in here as well so everything that is left here it will be taken away by the van so yeah and this is how the kitchen looks or oh, I, I already emptied out these i still need to empty out the ones with the food i think i'm gonna do it right now before i chow this in the yeah all of this will leave with the uh, van and then i still need to wash the dishes that's why i want to eat first so that when i wash i know that i'm done oh yeah guys as i was saying i think i forgot to tell you a new update is that what we found out about this place is that saying that i've learned today that there's different levels of wretchedness so apparently this place people who live here mostly they were removed <coughs> they were removed from a certain mall a certain place where the, um, a mall was supposed to be built so after they were removed the deal they found them a new place which is this place for them to live here and then in that midst there's also people who were living in a hostel that was demolished if you were south african maybe if you know what a hostel is so you can imagine that type of a uh, lifestyle I'm not saying all of them, but most of them. This is how they live. Because I used to ask myself, why are these people living like this? Because there was just something strange about it. Like you can tell that me and my friend, we definitely the outsiders. Because everything that they're doing is weird to us. And for them, it's a norm. Like just going and just standing in somebody's yard. For us, that was, why, why would you do that? That is crazy. For them, it's very much normal. If somebody just feels like, uh, they want to sit outside and then get a, a, a tent in the sun and they feel like, oh, you're uh, on your side, you have a perfect spot. They don't mind. They'll just take their chair and come and sit at the back of your home. Why? Because they are also able to do that. They are more able to do that because of there's also no fence. So I guess that gives them some sort of entitlement that, oh, we can do that like, where we were living, we were doing the same thing. Like, we can also do it here. But here, it's different now. Where you were living, you were living in a certain place that was very, 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 very small. That that It's a force to lean over somebody's um, house because literally there is no other space. But here, there is space. They made you guys your own hangar. You have your own yard. You have your own everything. As much as there's no fence, but you have your own everything. You don't need to use somebody else's property. So, that's when we were like, oh, now it makes sense. So, we're living with people who were living at a hostel. At a hostel. Their life is definitely different and it's very much wretched. That's why I always say in social media, where are the people... Who are living there? Why can't we see them? They're always portrayed with the people who are nicely polished. Where are the people who are living at the hostel? Let's hear them their story. I don't know a, a, a vlogger who lives 
in the house down i will definitely watch them so i can understand why they live like this so that's why i'm telling that's why i'm here to say and by knowing me now you know there are people who are living like that you see that's why i have a youtube channel to raise out that flag not everyone out there is nice is polished you no know? people here they are weird and we are living there's no way we can live here there's no way there's no way i'm gonna make peace with that i can just wake up and then i find my washing line it has clothes that i don't even know it has kids clothes it has rags it has sponges which smell pee and i must just accept that oh no no i feel like i'm losing my mind is everybody in the world blind please lord give me a sign a sign i feel like i'm losing my mind is everybody in the world to be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around and feel like everybody is the fakest i make this every day and i'm impatient hoping one day i blow up from the basement statement the top is so vacant i don't need shit that i think is amazing waiting for my day when i'm playing sold out shows for a thousand faces hey give me that crown get in my way and you'll be put down it ain't your place all this my town if i want that shit then i'll get it right now i'm losing it the noose if it's some loose shit a stupid myth you choose to live or choose to dip you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each new update, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Yo, so do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor I've got my own issues, I need a comb to get through Don't need to groan with you, just go get your own tissue I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign So, it is past three now. The first load has gone out. So, so the only thing that's left is the couches, few things that were in the fridge, kitchen stuff. But everything is ready to go, packed and ready to go. And I quickly washed dishes as well. And then so I can leave everything clean just as I found it. And then this is the trash. And then yeah. So when they come back, they're gonna get everything that is here and all of this, all of that out. And then the only thing that will be left will be the big things it's this is the bed and my headboard and then my mirror so yeah and the one thing that i've noticed we're still going to work because now it's double trouble at least the first time it was just my things now it's both of me and my friend's things so now i just want to quickly clean in here and
and I also mopped the floors so the second load has gone so I want to take what's in here and put it in there so that they don't struggle when they come back so let me quickly do that I'm so tired So what I'm thinking is, so what I'm thinking is mopping here, yeah, it's fine. I'll just mop around and then because it's, it's already clean, this place is already clean. So let's quickly do that. Do it. Okay, the room is done. This is done. Um, I moved things on this side, so when they come, everything here will be like super clean. And then, yeah. And then, this is the biggest problem and the challenge, big way. But we're moving slowly but surely. Okay, the third load, is it the third one? Mm -hmm. The third one is gone. And my lips today are giving me problems. In fact, this week, just because of my diet, I told you guys, if I don't eat good enough or enough, or if I don't eat, my lips peel. So it's a problem. I'm still, I'm still adjusting, but they left my big junk. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> And then there's TV, at least now we're moving. 
the ports are gone. Yeah. And then bam. Done with this baby. She's empty. She's also empty. And then now what's left is just in here. The TV TV stand in the bed. Yeah. And I think and I think that we're gonna leave the curtains because it's gonna be like we fighting when we're taking the curtains because um I forgot to say that we only told the landlords today that we're moving because we were not sure of the whole situation. So we told them only today because we couldn't find them from yesterday. So the only chance we had to tell them was yesterday, was from yesterday. So yesterday when my friend went to the house, they were not there. Even this morning, they were not there. Even later, they were not there until we tried to call. There was no answer. And then again, after we came back from the house, and then we saw this lady. And then that's when we told them. So, no, if, because I don't think my friend told them that we're leaving today, as in we are already moving. So, I don't want them to find the curtains empty because I noticed when I took the curtain off of that side that no it looks somehow so we're just gonna leave the curtains and then because my friend has a car tomorrow my friend can pass here to get the curtains or something so i'm gonna leave the curtains but that side i need i needed that one so it's fine i'm not gonna put it back and then yes and i'm already hungry and i'm not in the mood to cook and we are broke so I don't know what's going to happen, but whatever, waiting for the third, for the fourth load. And then by chance, we will be done. I'm praying. And I think that I can take out the bed in here. I want to clean. I want to continue cleaning. I don't want to clean late like the last time. So I think I'm going to try to take the bed from this side to this side so that they can find it here because. just gonna take this when they come and everything else and what's left here is just the stand and everything so which is good because the place is clean I'll just move around here and then by the time we move these I'll just sweep and then yeah and the fourth load has gone and now we have one empty room one empty room and then one empty room finally oh my gosh so it's only these left i thought that was going to be the last load but this is the last load so yeah and my junk keeps getting left behind i'm even embarrassed to ask like guys why can't you like take my clothes you know like so i'm embarrassed about it so now I just want to move these to the side because I just I just don't want to wait. It's my way, I was born impatient 
And like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation. They call me a So this side is clean after they take this junk by the door. I'll walk around here and then we will be done. And the time is 5.40. So it's already getting dark and cold because it's winter. And just like that, I am done everything. It's out guys the only thing is the tv will use uh, my friend's car for this so yeah the boys have gone and then goodbye house i never got to you yeah so the curtains will fetch them tomorrow and yeah we did it. Everything is empty. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Like, this was definitely not easy. Like, it was so hard. But I did it. So, thank you so much guys for watching. Please come back for part 2 when we go to the house because I'm not done. There's still more to see and I'm happy about the other house. So, I want to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, say something, suggest a fitness video that you would like me to do because my channel is mostly based on fitness or the type of uh, food that you would like me to try which is healthy um, or any other tip that you feel I might find it useful for my weight loss. And yeah, if you're not sure if you like this channel, you like me, or this is the first video of me you've seen, please go to my page and check out my other videos. Uh, you, I'm, I promise you, you're gonna like it here. Yeah, you're just gonna like it if you wanna cool off from uh, all the perfect life we see out there. If you just wanna steam off, you just wanna see somebody's life, which is still amazing, somebody's life, which is. Uh, 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 somebody who doesn't have her duckies in the room somebody still figuring life out and in then somebody who's already matured and old you know somebody with a certain age like in her late 20s because um our mates out there are doing it are doing it and that is amazing but there's some of us who are still on this level who still call the type of setting or renting from somebody luxury being able to rent a full house for us for people like us it's a luxury so if you want to see something like that this is definitely the channel for you you are going to see all the what and all but yeah have you ever wondered how do you know like bro people live how do people in shacks live how do people in one room live how do people in you know like the less privileged places live this is the channel where you're gonna see that because all we see mostly out there is just perfect, 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 perfect life, perfect this, perfect routine, perfect uh 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 no here yeah, you're gonna see that. So if you wanna cool off, steam off, this is definitely the place for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, come back again for part two. And this is it, guys. Peace. Let's go to our new place, our new working out. Play <laughs>